welcome in this video let us see the properties of fluids density specific weight specific volume and specific gravity so let us see the first one density density is actually the mass by volume so it is also known as mass density and specific mass and in general sense it is a measure of mass of fluid occupying one cubic meter of space i will show you one cube here which is having one meter length one meter width and one meter height it is a cubic meter so we are measuring how much mass of the fluid can be laid in it so this is mass of the fluid in it by its volume technically it is defined as mass of the fluid per unit volume and it is denoted by the greek letter rho and mathematically we can write it as rho is equal to mass of fluid by volume of fluid m by v and the units are kg per meter cube and if you see the diagram here so i have given you two cubes here one cube is having the substance which is having loo uh, loosely packed molecules it is another substance which is having closely packed molecules so you can see very well it is very denser than this and the most important thing you have to remember is the density of water which is 1000 kg per meter cube or 1 gram per cc please remember that the value is very important and let us see the applications of density where can we see this oil floats on water because it is of less density than water and uh, take some bowl of water and pour some oil in it oil will definitely float right because the oil is less density than water and if you see this fluid tower this is uh, the tower of fluids having different densities so last one is honey because it is a more denser on that corn syrup which is lesser denser than honey and all the fluids are uh, in descending order of their densities honey if you compare it is uh, having lot of density compared to the ping pong ball which is having lesser density and boating is possible because it floats on the water it is this is because boat is less denser than water and now your work is to find out some more examples and density of some more important materials i am giving to you water 1000 kg per meter cube cement 1440 kg per meter cube so here i am giving you uh, the important building materials densities and dry sand steel brick mercury and now your duty is to search some density of some more materials so second one second property is specific weight so which is denoted by small w and it is also known as weight density and is a measure measure of weight of substance which occupies 1 cubic meter of space so technically it is a weight by volume so it is denoted by small w that is equal to weight by fluid by volume of fluid and weight we can call it as mass into acceleration due to gravity w is equal to mg so so we can now write it as small w is capital w by v is equal to mg by v m by v that is the density previously we have discussed so we can substitute it here rho g and the units are newton per meter cube and what are the uses of specific weight in fluid mechanics so fluid mechanics a uh, specific weight represents the force exerted by the gravity on a unit volume of fluid so mass is a constant it will not change anywhere but weight will change according to the planet our earth planet is having some gravity and its acceleration is 9.81 meter per second so we are measuring the mass by virtue of gravity mass which is in the influence of gravity that is actually weight and we call it as even force so that is why we are representing it as newton per meter cube so let us see the third one a specific volume it is reversed to the density so it is volume by mass to talk uh, to say mathematically that is volume by mass it is actually the property of material which is defined as number of cubic meters occupied by 1 kg of particular substance 1 kg is occupying how much volume that is a measure so volume of fluid by mass of the fluid v by m this is the reciprocal of density that is 1 by rho and the units are meter cube by meter cube per kg reverse to density so fourth one last one specific gravity and specific gravity it is denoted by capital s and it is the ratio of density of that substance to the density of reference substance so mathematically we can write it as density of fluid by the density of reference fluid rho fluid by rho reference fluid and reference fluid is here for liquids water and gases air and we know that very well liquids and gases both together are called as fluids 
it is a dimensionless quantity because it is the ratio of two fluids right so rho uh, sorry it is the ratio of densities of fluids so rho fluid by rho reference liquid so if we talk about density of liquids sorry specific gravity of liquids that is the ratio of density of liquids to the density of water rho liquid by rho water density of water is 1000 kg per meter cube i repeat it again please remember specific gravity of water is one because when we talk about specific gravity of water we have to put that density of liquid is uh, density of water by reference liquid is also water so density of water by density of water that is one and the units will be cancelled out the unit this, this is the dimensionless quantity and here it is the density please check the spelling and what are the applications of specific gravity and it, it is just a measure that shows us how much a liquid is denser or uh, more denser or less denser than water uh, for example if specific gravity is more than one so we can say that is more denser than water and for example any liquid is having less denser le specific gravity less than one we can say it is lesser denser than water and it floats on water for example you can think of a plastic ball floating on the water see here it's a ball floating on the water because ball is having less specific gravity or less denser than water so it is flowing on it so you can think of a iron ball in the same place what will happen it will sink right because iron ball is more denser than water so specific gravity of some important materials here water is one mercury is 13.6 steel cast iron aluminium gold i have given to you and now your duty is to collect some more specific gravity values of some more materials and let us see a problem now so question is to calculate the density specific weight and weight of one liter of petrol specific gravity 0.7 so what they have given us initially they said one liter of petrol so we ha they have given volume one liter that is thousand centimeter cube we can convert into meter cube so because one centimeter is one by hundred meter so that is whole cube we will get it as one by thousand meter cube specific gravity they have given us as 0.7 so actually specific gravity volume is rho liquid by rho water and rho water is whether they have given or not that is thousand kg per meter cube rho petrol uh, so if we substitute that rho petrol by 100 that is is equal to 0.7 specific gravity so rho petrol we can get it as 0.7 into 700 uh, 1000 that is 700 kg per meter cube so density of petrol we got it as 700 kg per meter cube so first one we got it so the second one we have to find out specific weight after that we have to find out the weight see that specific weight small w we need to find out first write the formula that is small w is weight by volume but we don't have weight so let us check w is also known as mg so m by v is also known as rho g so initially we have found out the density here 700 kg per meter cube let us substitute it here so w is equal to rho petrol into g 700 into 9.81 that is 6867 newton per meter cube and the weight we need to find out again write the formula for weight density which is small w is equal to weight of fluid by volume of fluid and w is equal to we can write it as if we want weight weight is equal to volume into weight uh, sorry weight density see weight density we have just calculated it just substitute very easy so you will get 6.867 newton volume is 1 by 1000 uh, liter uh, sorry meter cube we have so that's all now your duty is to do the homework now the question two questions i have given to you first one is to calculate the specific weight density and specific gravity of one liter of liquid which weighs 7 newton and second question is one liter of crude oil weighs 9.6 newton calculate its specific weight density and specific gravity and try these problems answers were given below in the description please check them Thank you.